with the start of school. This time of year can be very busy for families. I don't have to tell you that. Making it pretty difficult to stay healthy as well. This morning we are taking a quiz to see just how healthy our families are and get some advice from Dr. Tim Doran from GBMC on how to find a good balance. And we want to take this quiz right now and talk about how to make some good choices. Good morning, Dr. Doran. Thanks for being here. Good morning, Megan. All right, you ready for the quiz? Ready. All right, let's start with question number one. How many times a week does your family eat out? Zero to three, three to five, or if you're answering C, they know you by name at your favorite restaurant. Obviously, Dr. Doran, I'm guessing A would be the healthier choice. A is the, the healthier choice. On average, when you go out to eat, you eat about 450 more calories than when you eat at home. Really? So eating at home is always the best choice. All right, we'll keep that in mind. Moving on to question two of six. How often are you active together? A, we try to do something most days, even if it's just playing we. B, mostly on weekends. Or C, does chasing them around put, uh, to put on their pajamas count? I'm sure a lot of people feel that way. Well, chasing around the house does help a little bit, but obviously the more you can do with your children, the better. Mm -hmm. Studies show that parents who exercise a lot and with their children, their children are in better shape. Okay, all right, let's move on to question number three. How many hours a day do your children spend in front of the TV or computer playing video games? You got zero to one, one to two, or two to four. What's healthy? Again, the less TV, the better. Yeah. Zero to one would be optimal. We know that people who, and children who spend lots of time watching TV, their obesity rates are very high. You gotta limit that. Hopefully you guys answer day on that one. We wanna move on to question four. Get your pens out. If we were to peer inside your grocery cart, would we find mainly fresh, lean meats and produce or bags, boxes, and cans of prepared foods? I'm going to go with healthy. Uh, it's going to be A. Healthy, fresh stuff that's not in packages. That's right. Are there some healthy packaged foods, though? Absolutely. You, you need to look and, and, research and make sure they are healthy, but yes. But in general, things that are not packaged are going to be better for you. Not packaged and made at home. Got That's it. correct. <laughs> All right, moving on to number five. How many days a week do you as a parent exercise? A, most days of the week. B, two to four days a week. Or C, only the week after New Year's. <laughs> okay, C is out. It's got to be A or B. Is B healthy enough, I should ask? Well, it's good. I mean, anything is, is better than nothing. So we want to make incremental changes. So the more you can do, the better. And obviously, uh, we would like children exercising about an hour a day or yeah. moving an hour a day, active an hour a day, not necessarily working out. but So but do it active. together and you do don't need together. a nanny. You've got, got a time right. to do it together. Absolutely right. All right, ready for the final question? I'm ready. Let's see how you guys do. Does your family have access to public recreation facilities like parks or playgrounds? A is yes, and we use them regularly. B is but it's a little bit of a drive. C is not that I know of. So this is kind of something you can't control, but maybe you could make an effort too. It is, it, and you do make an effort. And some, some families don't have access to parks and recreation facilities. Mm -hmm. So I can't blame them for answering B if they don't have it. But obviously, the more you can get out, the more you can get the parks, the more free time children have, the better for their health. Definitely. Well, how this pans out here is if you answered mostly A's, you're doing great. If you chose mostly B's, you're doing pretty well, but you could definitely work a little bit harder. If you answered mostly C's, you seem to be struggling a little bit and should think about overhauling your eating and fitness habits. For those people who are struggling, do you suggest that they change their habits all at once or is this something maybe you should do uh, gradually? No, it's gradual. Yeah. You need to do it a little bit at a time. Uh, even walking with your children, watching less TV of the parents. So if the parents mm -hmm. even watch less TV, that's a good start. It seems like doing it together would be a lot easier. Except for Fox News. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's a family show there. That's right, that's Dr. Right. Doran, always good to have okay. you here. Thank you very Thanks, much. Megan. And if you um, want more information on that quiz, we're going to put it on our website as well.